Welcome to this week's Podcast Connection. My name is Peter Christensen, Legal Counsel for the Utah Association of Realtors. And today we will be talking about FERPTA. FERPTA, it's not just a fun word to say. FERPTA stands for the Foreign Investment in Real Property Tax Act. Why do you need to know about a tax act? Because it can affect your buyer if the seller is a foreign seller. Here's how it works. If a seller is a foreign person, as defined by the Internal Revenue Code, then the buyer will be required to withhold up to 10% of the total sales price at closing. This amount may be remitted to the IRS in order to pay for any taxes due by the seller as a result of the sale. If the buyer fails to withhold this amount, then the buyer could be liable to cover the tax for the seller if the IRS has trouble collecting it. We have three forms changes to help buyers and sellers comply with this federal tax law. The first change is an added section to the buyer due diligence checklist. There is now a section dedicated to FERPTA. This gives you a chance to explain what FERPTA is and why it might affect the buyer in the transaction. The second change is in the exclusive right to sell listing agreement and agency disclosure form. Here we have added a section explaining FERPTA and check boxes for the seller to indicate if the seller is a foreign person. This gives the listing agent a chance to explain what effect FERPTA will have if the seller is indeed a foreign person. It also gives the seller a heads up so that they can talk to a CPA and decide if they can file for a tax ID number and avoid the withholding. The third change is an added section to the seller's property condition disclosure form. This section explains to the seller again that the seller may be responsible to pay tax on the sale of their property and has the seller warrant to the buyer whether or not the seller is a foreign person. This allows the buyer to know ahead of time whether a possible withholding will be required. As always, look for classes to be taught at your local boards. In addition, you can always call the legal hotline with questions. This is Peter Christensen signing off for this week's Podcast Connection.